Oh, let's go, baby. I got a gun. Where did all these birds just come from? Oh my gosh, the birds. It's like an old rifle of some sort. That is definitely a gun barrel, 100%. You guys already know where we're starting our day. The scrapyard is calling our name. Hopefully, we're not gonna have anything radioactive. I am slightly concerned that we are gonna have some radioactive stuff just due to the fact that we were magnet fishing yesterday right in between two oil wells, which is where supposedly all this radioactive stuff is coming from, is all the crude oil like pipeline stuff. Anyways, we are heading to the scrapyard right now to go drop off this load. I'm going to guess 1420. No, no, I take it back. I'm gonna guess 1380 is gonna be my guess today. 1380 pounds is gonna be my guess. All right, I will see y'all at the scrapyard with hopefully a non radioactive load. Let's do this, man. My fingers are crossed. I'm hoping that this is gonna work. I really am. Come on. Please, no sirens. Please, no sirens. Please, no sirens. Woo! We're good, baby. We are good today. Crazy line today, though. A crazy line. It's like 10 cars. All right, well, at least it's not radioactive. That's all that matters. Final chance is to take your guesses down in the comments. I forgot what I said. I think I said 1380. Oh man, I don't remember. Holy crap, dude, he like got everything in one freaking go. Oh man, maybe there wasn't as much stuff in there as I thought. Dude, he got everything in that trailer pretty much in one go. That was some master work right there. Here we go, let's go cash out. All right, and our weight total was only 840 pounds. Dang, all right, well, 840 pounds, there's a lot of big stuff. As soon as he picked it all up in one go, I'm like, man, I was way off. For that, the price of crap is going up though. It's up again, like $15 from where it was. We got $91 for 840 pounds. That's awesome. We have just made it to the next bridge, or the first bridge of the day, actually. Now this one, is really tight right here so hopefully there's not gonna be a lot of traffic coming through well let's see if there's anything down here oh it's pretty shallow pretty shallow i'm going on the other side i ain't risking getting bit by ants today just a little nail on the first throw keep on going here luckily this isn't a very good spot so it's either going to be really loaded and we're going to find a lot of stuff or we're gonna take a couple throws and realize there's nothing here. And we can head on to the next spot i think i got my first click of the day Ooh, there's oil down there too all right, there's something big. Look at all that oil coming up. I know y'all probably can't see that off the glare. We got a little something here. Dude, there, whatever I hit, it has a ton of oil coming up. Can y'all see that? Oh my goodness, so much oil. We got another one of these weird things. We've been finding quite a few of those in this area. And we got this thing, just a big piece of like metal. Now I'm really interested to know what's making all that oil down there. I just don't know what it is. Might have to get the claw here we go this feels a little bit heavier here oh yeah we got a great some sort of like little fencing maybe or a great come here all right there we go nothing too crazy yet but still got all that oil making stuff down there it's starting to get a little bit windy as well uh we're gonna have a lot and i mean a lot of rain coming in over the next week up to eight inches oh come on we got a little piece of it i just want to see what it is i just want to see what it is oh it's a bike tire all right well we got a bike down there at least all right come here we can get that up that's definitely not what's making all that oil though oh it's a mountain bike there we go all right let's get this thing up that's a good one that's a good find right there i need to just get it in the right spot if i had the claw i could get this up in two seconds oh yeah it's coming here we go we got the mountain bike coming up stay on this is so heavy i got it oh my goodness <sighs> mountain bikes are not very light guys <sighs> Woo! there we go oh my gosh that is a huge mountain bike no wonder why that thing was so heavy all right there we go we got a mountain bike it looks like it's like spray painted red i'm pretty sure it's an older one it's spray painted red. <laughs> it's so weird. All right, it is a comfort, unless that's the seat. I don't know, but we'll wheel it off the bridge. 
All right, we got a first good find of the day. First good find of the day. That was right in that same spot where all that oil was coming up at. We got something coming right here. It's running crazy though. It's like a piece of roof. It's like tin roof. Or actually, I don't know if it's tin. I'm not sure if tin's that magnetic. There's a piece of something that's magnetic. Well, we'll take it. I don't know what that is. But hey, it was magnetic and we got it. One last piece of trash in the water. Well, if there's an award for the loudest piece of metal, it'd go right there. Here we go. There's something out there. More sticks. All right, we got some more sticks and some nails. All right, cool. Dude, I don't know what that could be. It's something really big though. Might have to come back with the claw one day and get that. It's gonna be too big to get by myself. When Blake comes back, we'll definitely take a throw there. I think I'm gonna go to the other side though. What is this? All right, it looks like some sort of like, is it a magnet? No, I don't know. Some weird little piece of metal. All right, I'm gonna go try a couple throws on the other side. Oh, there's a lot of stuff down here, man. A lot of sticks. I don't know about this side. There's a lot of sticks here. Here we go. We finally landed right on top of something. It's, whoa. This is scary. Uh, dude, what is that? That's weird looking. I don't know what that is. It's gotta be a piece of an electrical box, but dude, that thing is freaking weird looking, man. Okay, well. We're just gonna leave that there. No idea what that is. If you guys know what that is, let me know down in the comments. Let's keep on throwing, see if we can get some goodies. All right, well, with that find right there, I think we're gonna go to a new bridge. Uh, we did find some stuff. I'm definitely coming back here to get whatever that big thing is. We are at a familiar spot. If you guys do not know where this is, this is the spot where we've been finding all sorts of goodies, man. Last time we were here, we found two SKSs and a bunch of other really cool stuff. So, I'm hoping we can have just half the day that we had last time we were here. Oh, do I got something? Feels like it. Oh yeah, oh man, it is windy. First throw of the day at this spot, and I got, I don't know, some mystery metal right there. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me, I'm gonna try to speak loud. Got a little piece of scrap right there. I think that was actually a piece of a motor. All right, I got something on this throw. All right, look at there. We got a little piece of scrap throw it in the bucket what is this oh joseph was finding these last time we were here too they're like weird little things that got numbers on them here we go we got a magnet full of stuff i don't know exactly what stuff looks like just a bunch of nails and just little pieces of scrap all right oh no that's a piece of chain link fence right there all right well we'll get it in the bucket i got a little something oh a bottle just popped up i don't know what i got here but a bottle just came shooting up under it oh is that an electric motor? I think we got some sort of motor, man. We've been finding a lot of like really scary looking pieces of metal today. I'm getting a lot of clicks in this little area right here. I want to find an SKS. We found two of them here. I've yet to find one though. There we go. We got something coming in. Yo, we got a header to a motor. All right, come here. We got a big piece of a motor right there. All right, look at that, man. I wonder if that is a piece to the four wheeler. That actually looks like a car one though. I'm pretty sure this is also called a header. I could be wrong. All right, well, that's some good weight right there. We'll throw that to the side. We got ourselves a header to a motor. All right, there's still some good stuff here, man. It's crazy that we're still able to find this much stuff every time we come here. Oh yeah, I had to pull this out of the mud. What do we got here? Oh man, what do we got here? Is it the other side of the header? Oh yeah, man, we got another piece of that motor, but we're pulling up this full motor. We got the other side of it now. There we go, man. <laughs> We got the whole set. There we go, man. We got the other half right there. Good stuff, dude. All that stuff's really heavy. That all is gonna add up towards our weight. We gotta get more than 840 pounds at the next scrapyard run because that was a little bit lower than I was anticipating. Oh, there's a snake. First snake of the day, man. I'm telling y'all, it's starting to get warm here. All these little swamp creatures are coming out. I don't know if you can see him going. He's swimming. Oh, he just went under the water. He saw me pouring at him. Here we go. I got something coming. Oh, it's a piece of a fan. All right, we got a big fan right here. I think it's actually a ceiling fan. Heck yeah, man, there we go. <laughs> All right, we got a ceiling fan. That looks more of a box fan type thing right there. All right, cool. We got a piece of a box fan. Here we go. We got something coming right here. Oh, it's like a box. Is this a surveillance system? I think we got a surveillance system right here. Oh, we got some sort of box. What is this? It's either a, a I don't know. Here, let's take a look at it. Uh, This looks like a surveillance system to me that plugs into the wall. All right, we'll throw that over there. Not surprised that we find a surveillance system here. 
I want to know what these things are though. They're like some weird thing. It's got a number on them. They all have a different number. It's like a tag or something. I don't know. That's that's one of the weirder things that we've been finding here. It's some some sort of weird tag. I almost wonder if it isn't for like farm animals or something. If you guys are interested in getting into magnet fishing, go check out battlemagnets.us. The link's down in the description. We got a magnet full of nails. We got our first porcupine of the day. All right, we got a big old porcupine right there. What the hell was that? Something just sounded like it fell in the water over there. Did you hear that splash? I have no idea what the heck that was. It sounded like someone threw a rock in, man. Here's something big right here. It's coming slowly. There we go, it let loose. Oh, I can see it a little bit. Oh, we got like four different things here. Oh my gosh, was this a throw? We got a ton of stuff on this throw here. All right, well, we'll take it, man. We got just a bunch of scrap. We got a little property marker right here. Let's start picking it apart. We got a property marker. No, tip my bucket over. Little piece of chicken wire and some pipes. All right, there we go. We got three things on that one throw. Here we go, something's coming right here. What do we got? Oh, let's go, baby, I got a gun. Let's go, we got a gun, baby. Oh man, what the heck kind of gun is this? This is a really weird looking gun. We got like a gun and like 80 other things in here. Let's go, dude. <laughs> let's freaking go. It's like an old rifle of some sort. Let's get this up. Heck yeah, man. Let's go, baby. We got a gun. <laughs> it looks like an old 22 is what it looks like to me. Right there, it's all duct taped up. Heck yeah, man, there we go. That's pretty much in that same spot where they found the SKS's last time. This thing was super, super old when it was thrown in here. Let's go, baby. <laughs> First gun of the day, a 22. At least I assume it's a 22, I could be wrong. But we also had a bunch of other stuff on that throw too. Just like a little piece of a chair or something. All right, let's keep on going, man. <laughs> We got something coming up. What do we got? Oh man, what do we got here? I don't know. Weeds and a rag. <laughs> All right, we got a little rag. Just a bunch of just random stuff. Nothing inside of it, just some scrap metal. That's weird, I've never caught weeds like that here before. Here we go, we got something coming up right here. Oh, I think it's our first electric motor of the day. Oh yeah, we got an electric motor. Cha-ching right there, man. That's worth double at the scrap yard. Let's go, first electric motor of the day. We'll put that right there. Oh, we got a pipe and we got something really shiny in there. What is that? We got something shiny and an old pipe. It says Rainco, Rainco Inc. United States of America max rating motor amp. It's a motor amp. All right, there we go. All right, we got something coming. What do we got? It's a good weight. <gasps> oh, like, oh, is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to get too excited. That's definitely a gun. That is definitely a gun barrel, 100%. Look at that, man. It's a, it's a single shot shotgun right there, man. Second piece of the gun in that same exact spot we just are missing the lore it's a piece of a shotgun probably a brake barrel shotgun right there let's go baby <laughs> second piece of a gun what you guys think they look like if you just eyeball date them they've been down there for about the same amount of time all right well let's go find the other half of it what do we got oh it's a motor it looks like i have no idea what this is it's coming up though it is a motor Look at that, there we go, it's a Pulsar motor. It's probably like a, is it a piece of a boat motor? It might be a small boat motor right there. All right, look at the Pulsar, there's the Pulsar. Yeah, we got ourselves a small boat motor. That was literally straight down. I like threw the magnet in the water just to get it off the bridge when I was dealing with the gun barrel. And then I found that. All right, feels like something, more weeds. What the heck, man, I've never seen any weeds here. And all of a sudden, I'm getting a bunch of them. Well, we also got a little shiny thing. Here we go, we got something coming right here. Oh, what is that thing? All right, we got a weird piece of metal coming up. Ah, bam, there we go. Just more things to add to our scrap pile that is slowly growing with each throw. Here we go, something. Oh, this thing is like green. Oh, that metal's green too. We got some green metal. Here we go, we got something coming. Just more scrap, man. Where's the pilot of guns? Cause it's somewhere. Something's going on. What is this thing? Yo, 
What was that? It almost looked like a like a tiller for a motor. Oh man, we just no, we got oh, it's a shock. Oh, and a shirt. All right, well this is pretty weird. We got a shock and like a shirt. At least I think that's a shock. Oh, and a shirt. Uh, okay. Yeah, here's the shock. I thought it was a tiller to a motor, but it's not. Is there anything inside of it? I don't feel anything. All right, well, that's just kind of random. Good to get out of the water, though. There's another snake. He's right under that tree. I don't know if y'all can see him. That is the second snake I've seen today. Oh, my flakes. Holy magnetic flakes right there. That looks like I'm about to get poked 80 million times getting that off my magnet. But let's see. Oh, my gosh. Where did all these birds just come from? Oh, my gosh. The birds, dude, they're coming at me. Well, I got something dangling on here, but I definitely had something bigger. So we're going to go for that. Just a little piece of frame all right well we got something on the bottom of my magnet here uh, is that a motor i don't know what that is oh it's a piece of a spark plug it's a piece of a motor there's a spark plug right there and whatever the heck that thing is makes me wonder what i'm pulling apart down here because there's something really big right here and it will lift up a little bit but it won't come up all the way oh no way man no freaking way it's a tire rim there's got to be more dude that is like the heaviest tire i wonder if it's solid though oh it is what Bro, what is that? It's a giant motor. Oh my goodness, this thing is huge. I guess we can try to get it up. Oh, dude. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that up. I need a second person. I need a second person and a claw. And then we can get that. Actually, just a second person, because I can lasso that, and we get it in two seconds. Oh wait, I can lasso that thing myself. What am I talking about? I'm about to show y'all why I'm the best magnet fisherman on this planet. I am the master magnet man. Mm. Oh, we got it. Oh, dude, that's an electric motor, too. Holy crap. Dude, I don't know what kind of motor that is. But damn, that thing's heavy. I see copper on the inside of there. I think this might be an electric motor. This is an electric motor, dude. This is worth double at the scrapyard. Oh, my goodness. This is by far the heaviest thing from today. If y'all know what this is, let me know down in the comments. It's definitely some sort of motor, but to what? Oh, that is totally an electric motor. Look at all that on the inside. That's all copper, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a little something here. What is this? This is a phone? It says General Electrics. It almost looks like a flay knife thing. Yeah, like for flay and fish, it's an electric flay knife. That thing's just old though, look at that. <laughs> There we go. All right, well, we'll throw that in the pile. Oh, what is this? It's some sort of frame. Oh my gosh, dude, it's like one of everything. <laughs> There's a grinder on there? Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Jeez, dude, that magnet just got everything on that throw. Oh my goodness. All right, look at that. This is what we need for the truck right here to cut up everything. Dude, that thing still, that thing still moves. I think we can plug it in, it'll work just fine. No, I just we need to put in some rice first, though. I think this is a piece of like a workout, like uh, yeah. exercise equipment. All right, there we go, man. <laughs> I don't know how. I mean, we just must have skipped over everything. I'm throwing out just a little bit farther than we have, but all this, this whole bridge, I've we've already hit so hard, and the fact that we missed all this stuff already is crazy. Oh my gosh, the second heaviest thing of the day. <laughs> is that another motor? It's a rear end. It's a what? A rear end of a car or a truck. Oh, yeah. The differential. The differential. The differential. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We got a differential to a car. Dude, that thing's freaking heavy, too. Oh, man, we're getting good weight right here. It felt a tad heavier. I don't think it is anymore, though. Well, we got something green on here. Just a little piece of a nail. All right, we got something coming up here. What do we got here? I can't see. It's dangling. <laughs> Just a big pipe. I think just yeah it's solid all right just a big little piece of the bridge I guess all right well we got a little something nothing too crazy some junk metal right there hey we got all of our weight for today just at this one spot just in that one little motor alone what is this thing all right oh it's wanting to fall off come out baby yeah there we go got a little pipe this spot's not dead yet guys oh my gosh there's so big stuff here still this is unbelievable man we've been here so many times i've not even been here for that long this is probably one of the craziest magnet fishing spots i've ever been to what do we got it's pretty heavy oh it's a piece of a car i feel like i got a scream over this wind 
Okay, come here, baby. Oh my gosh, it is getting really, really windy right now. Well, the weather's right. It said it was supposed to get more and more windy. And that is what it's doing. Here we go, what is this? Whoa, this is weird. It almost looks rubber. <laughs> what? There's something metal in there. Oh, this is like a seal for a car door. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. All right, well, we'll take it. We got a seal for a car door. We got a little something dangling on here. I felt like four or five really big clicks. That's definitely a piece of a bike. Here we go, here we go. We got something coming. I don't think we've ever fished this far to the, the right over here. All right, it's something coming. It's heavy. Oh, is that another electric motor? No, uh, maybe, we'll see. Yeah. There we go. It looks like a piece of a ceiling fan, honestly. I could be wrong, though. All right, well, we'll keep on throwing here, see if we can make something happen. There we go. What do we got here? We got something coming. Oh, it's got some weight to it. What is this thing? Oh, it's like a freaking massive come along. I'm pretty sure that's a huge come along. Or like one of those strap downs for an 18 wheeler. <laughs> that thing is freaking heavy. I don't know what the exact name of this is, but I'm pretty sure it's one of those big strap things for an 18 wheeler to hold the load down. Here we go. We got something coming right here. It's about the same weight. I almost wonder if it's not another one. No. Oh, shoot. What was that? All right. Well, I don't know what that was, but it was like a box of something. Keep going, please. There's a dang cop look, slowing down and looking. Keep going, man. So many cops trying to mess with us here, man. And luckily, that one kept going. It's another one of those straps. All right, there we go. This one's red, though. <laughs> man, we have got two of them. I wonder if there's not just a massive, massive pile down there. There's another snake, dude. It just went under the water. There's another snake. There's an insane amount of snakes over here. Oh, that's a cord, it looks like. That is a big bungee cord. Is it? I think this is a bungee cord. Something's coming. I don't know. It almost looks like someone's magnet fishing attempt. All right. Well, we got something right there. I don't know what it is. It's a bunch of paracord with like a little tiny little frig. I forgot the name of those things. Carabiner. Here we go. We got something all the way out there. This was a ways out there. Oh, we got a boat anchor. All right. Come here. Man, someone had a bad day. They probably, oh, look, it completely broke. Oh, dude, man, that anchor had to have been used like crazy. All right, well, we got a little something right here. Don't know exactly what that is. That is weird. It's got like a little suction thing on there. It's kind of like soft. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. I appreciate y'all watching all the way to the end of the video. If you guys have made it this far in the video, comment motor down in the comments for that massive electric motor that we found today. Our bucket is completely full of electric motors now because that big one, that big one filled it up the rest of the way. So next time we go to the scrapyard, we're going to get about double what we normally would if we just took it in as normal iron. Anyways, I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace.